This is like a skirt around the bottom of this. Oh shoot. There's a butte to my left currently. I'm kind of circling around it and this, um, according to the LiDAR map, what I'm following is kind of a skirt around the bottom of it, kind of like a skirt around a Christmas tree. Um, I still can't figure out if this is a road. It looks like from, I think it was a road a long time ago and the road continues down here. Although there's a lot of trees, but I do sort of see a clearing between them. Um, so where this big bush is, that's where the road was also. And then up here is where the, I believe, natural boulder ridge is. It's possible that it's not natural though. It could have been caused by human activity. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell sometimes. Ooh. Or it could be another road. This actually looks like a road too. But I guess I'll follow it and then it'll, this'll be more like a hike than a take a peek. And I have been um, thinking about adding new categories to my channel or a new series, whatever. Um, because not everything I do is like going to the top of something, but I haven't decided about that yet. This one's really more like a hike, but you see there's still these rocks on the edge of this. This looks like a trail or a, a road actually kind of nice but most of the time when I'm in these remote destinations I'm not expecting to find trails or or roads like I'm aware of some roads because they're all pretty much all shown on the map for the most part but sometimes I'll find them like this where it's not on the map I like this moss. Makes the rocks more interesting. Okay. Is this B1331M? Whew, out of breath. Oh, I made good time right there. Cut across a good chunk of land. Man, I'd love it if I could scout out hikes that are like about half an hour or less to complete. Cause then I kind of know I'm um, in the range of not running out of a battery on my camera. And then also um, anything over a half hour uploading to YouTube and just doing all the processing on the files, it just makes it take a lot longer. It's not like, you know, 30 minutes is some magical limit that I can't cross. It's just, uh, you know, if it's shorter, like 15 or 20 minutes would be awesome. But most of the adventures I pick are a lot more ambitious than that. And so they take longer to complete. There's some mushrooms for those interested. I don't know anything about mushrooms what's safe to eat and you know I don't know any of the species or anything okay this is B1331N oh. and I hate the sniffles but you can't really help it when it's cold like this But yeah, someday, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever grow a channel that people are enjoying watching. I don't think my content sucks though. I just know I don't tend to get noticed on 
um, video or streaming platforms for whatever reason. I would love to be able to live stream this stuff. But, uh, okay, this is weird. Random, random pile of straw or something like it in that. It almost looks like some kind of trap. Like there's going to be traps that if I step on, it's going <laughs> to, that totally looks like some kind of man-made trap. Like that thing is to attract some animal and something's underneath this. I don't know if that's the case, but that's totally what it looks like to me. So I'm going to try to steer clear from that. Just in case. I don't know what that thing is. That white thing. It's very strange. I hope there's no traps. Like, I've thought, of that. I've thought about that before. Like, what if I encountered some traps and I stepped in it or something and it like, broke my ankle or something, you know? Not much I could do. Okay. This is very cool. This is B13310. Because it's, oh, this is cool. But again, I don't know how natural these boulders are. It could be that they're, they're obviously natural, but um, their position might have been modified. Like they were shoved aside to make way for this road or something. I don't know. Or they could have just been uncovered in the process of, you know, them leveling the road. But they're still in their original positions. I, I don't know how to determine that. To me, they look natural, like like they were probably in these positions originally, but I'm not sure. It is a little peculiar that, that they all happen to be on the edge of this road. All right, let's get this one on there. B1331P. I oh, wish I had a faster way to make these marks. I thought about doing audio marks and I may choose to switch to that system at some point. Not sure I'm ready to commit to it all out today. It's not that much faster either. So I still have to get my phone out and open the app and make a, a recording thing. The other thing that I just thought of, and I think I've thought of this before, is I could just use my video to create the markers, because I'm saying stuff in the video, so I could just say, this is B1331P, and then go back later and uh, put the marks on the map, because the main reason that I synchronized my video to, you know, real time why that's so important to me is so I can um, use a time offset, you know, uh, not equation, but just formula so I can figure out where each point, I can figure out any frame of my video where I was on the map, basically, using the GPS track that I'm recording. So if the video is not synced up, then I have no way to know where the positions are. But So that's why I always either use a, my GPS remote for the camera, which synchronizes it automatically, or I take a short video of my phone's time. Okay, anyway. I could do it that way though. I'm just always a little bit nervous that something will go wrong with my video and then I won't have the stuff on my map. Plus it's nice to have the work done 
before I go home. I don't have to do anything when I get home. Okay, this is B1331Q. Whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. I like this road though, this is cool. It's like a pretty relaxed, a little bit faster pace hike than I would normally be able to do on a place like this. But I still get to see the cool stuff off to the side and it's not hard to get to. I think I can see a pile of boulders over there. And I'm gonna go explore. I should check my lens. Make sure I don't have any drops on it. It's really hard to see. Oh, slippery. Oh, wow. Here's some big boulder piles. The biggest yet. Yeah, anybody that's a geologist, check out these boulder patterns, like the shapes of them. Let me know if you think this is a natural formation or if they excavated for the road and just threw the the boulders with some big machine over here. To me, the way that the boulders interact with each other, they don't look thrown by humans. They look like they're all connected and natural. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but I'm no expert, so. So somebody else will have to enlighten us. cool shapes with that old tree there oh this is cool very cool okay this is B1331R see if I can get that other thing in the same same shot probably not really Okay. All right, maybe on the next hike, I'll do that thing I was talking about where I just say the, the name of the place in the video and mark it later, because that would really speed up. All right, my video just reset. I don't need to say that every time. It's more just um, I say it for my own sake. Like later when I'm doing the editing, I could choose to cut that out, but I haven't been doing much cutting or editing. All right, so that means I believe that I've been shooting for a half hour, which doesn't feel like that long, but it probably has been that long. I'm, I think I'm getting kind of close to the end of this adventure, sort of, but I don't think I'm gonna mark that one because I'm really close to this other huge one. But the last part here might take the longest because it's the coolest so far. Wow, this is huge. It's kind of cool to build up to something really cool at the end. Start it out a little bit ordinary. For me, none of this is ordinary. Like, I think if you were out hiking with me, you would just love it and enjoy it too. But, you know, everybody's looking for something crazy and exciting on a video. Well, at least that's my assumption or impression. Everybody wants to see something kind of out of the ordinary or outlandish. Okay. I think this is B1331S. Okay, I'm gonna executive decision. I'm gonna go from here on out. I'm gonna do just the verbal marking on this one. Save some time. That would save a lot of time, I think.
problem is I'm not sure I can remember the letters every time. I might double up or skip one. This might be the high high point or the the coolest spot. Call it B1331T. Trying to get a good angle, I can see the whole ridge line. But yeah, it's kind of nice not to have to pull my phone out of the pocket, and I know that's going to be a complaint for anybody that actually does watch my videos. They'll be like, man, couldn't you just cut that out of your video? But I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't have the same goals that most people have in posting videos to YouTube. I'm not trying to make a super worldwide popular full-time job kind of channel. I'm just doing it for my own enjoyment. And if I find people that also enjoy it, then great. But otherwise, I'm still going to enjoy it myself. Okay, so it's going back down. Got a few more points. I don't know if these rocks are all green just because of the, the stuff that's growing on them or if there's any green quality to them. I get the impression it's all just the moss and lichen or algae, whatever the stuff is. Okay, we'll call this B1331U. I think I'm getting close to the end. I might actually make it before, or I might not run out of letters I'm, if I'm getting really close. I could mark this area, but I think I'll just sort of consider it part of that last one. Interesting shapes, though. Oh, it'd be cool to get a shot in that stump up there. And there's another interesting hole over here, too. Okay, I just ran out of my first battery and brought my battery bank so I can charge things. Generally, I've found that I can basically go eternally with three batteries, and I, th I think I, in most cases, I can do it with two because I'm not usually recording continuously like I am now, but I think with three, I can charge just as fast as I'm spending the energy but I haven't fully tested it to be sure okay so there's a bigger chunk of this ridge back here I want to make sure to check out I already forgot the number that I'm on I think I did T last but I might have done U that's the problem I if I'm doing it this way, I might forget. I want to get up to the top of this, though. Even though it's not really the direction I'm intending to go. It's a destination. Oh, I was up here. <laughs> okay, I came down from here. I just went... Yeah, in a different way. Okay. I didn't remember it being this high. Oh, shoot. I may have touched a branch on the lens, so just to be sure, clean the lens off here in a second.
Okay, we gotta finish this hike soon. It's it's going too long, I think, for for what it is. It, I can't complain. It's pretty cool, but I just was hoping to get through more hikes today. Now that I've made the decision to do the audio notes instead of using my phone, it, it should speed up my process a bit on future hikes. I'll have to use some memory trick to keep the next letter in my brain, though. It doesn't really matter, because I can adjust the letters later, but it's nice to have the letters be accurate in my video. Okay, let's mark this big guy here. Okay, I think I'm on... I think I did U already, I'm not sure, but I'll go with V. B1331V. I might finish the alphabet yet. I thought I was kind of getting close to the end, but it's still going. That's interesting. Position of that rock happens to line up really well with that tree, almost like the tree was inside that rock, but I'm not sure if that's the case. It just looks that way from this point of view. Whoa. All right, I think, I think I'm getting close to the end. This might be kind of it here. Let me check the map real quick. Get to use my tripod stand for once. I should just call it here though. I don't know if it'll be of great interest to continue or not. The ridge looks like it's getting shallower, not as prominent. I could just try to book it through. Just go as fast as I can. Unfortunately, I'm getting into an area that has lots of uh, bushes, so it's going to be harder to go fast now. This bushwhacking stuff is, um, I actually like enjoy, or I enjoy um, route finding, so like looking for these little secret ways, passages through the bushes, but it really slows me down, that's for sure. I saw a boulder to my left that I am kind of choosing to ignore, or not to my left, to my right. Get a quick shot in these trees. All right, here's another big boulder. Call this B one three three one W. Okay. Not even sure I'm still on the same ridge now. I think I am, but it's gotten so shallow that it doesn't look nearly as impressive as it did. Might, might reach a Z today on the letters. Or not. This looks convenient though. 
I'm seeing a ridge up here that goes up to the, the top of this volcano up here, which is my next adventure. So it might just happen to be that I end this first video at a really convenient spot to start the next one. And actually, last night I was, uh, um, or this morning, early this morning, I was realizing I could do some splitting up into multiple adventures, but basically start one where the last one ended, like with no delay in the video. I mean, like it'll just keep recording, but I'll just cut it and start a new video for the purposes of my channel. Um, so yeah, I think I might do that kind of a thing. So you could just like watch all two or three conjoined videos as one because they're basically back to back, but it just splits them up so there's not just one crazy long video on my channel. Okay, so I might call this the end right here. I think it goes a little bit further, but this might be the last kind of big rock or more or less. So this, I think I'm on X, B1331X. Let me check my map real quick to make sure that close enough to the end that I'll be satisfied that I've done the whole thing. Close enough. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is basically the end. Okay, we're good. It's perfect. I'm just gonna go straight up that hill in my next video, my next adventure. I'm gonna stop the video and just start it up right up again. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this Boulder Ridge exploration. Found that old road. Looks like the old road still kind of continues here. It doesn't exist anymore, but at one time it served a purpose. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I will see you next time. Actually, I'll see you in a few minutes in, in real time, but it'll probably be a, a week or so before I get this uploaded. Anyway, see ya.